Hello, one more time. This is Ryan Engelstad and Gabe Engelstad uh, talking to you about Primetime Toys this time and uh, their Dart Zone Adventure Force blaster lines. So everyone was very excited when we got a new option for the rival type, uh, and this is their ballistic ops option. And I actually thrifted this one, so Dart Zone. Even in Minnesota, now you guys are, uh, you know, thriftable. Not only can you get them in the stores, they're so popular and selling so many that I got it at the thrift store. So way to go, Dart Zone. Uh, then they improved it this year, or changed it a little bit this year, giving you a nice hand guard and a different grip. It definitely makes it easier for uh, younger nerfers to prime. Still a plenty stiff prime, but it uh all right. Plenty good. So those are the Springer options, and now this year they also came out with a motorized option. So this one has a 30 dart or ball hopper and rev trigger. And it runs off 60 batteries and a lot of fun. Are you checking the hoppers? Oh, look at that. And hoppers are compatible. So if you want a bigger capacity hopper on your Springer, if you buy them both, look at that. So another fun thing they did was you can have up to three different team colors on your blaster with these little plates that they have. So you can change it from team blue, team green, team red, and uh, and have fun doing that. Yep, there's a left side and a right side. There you go, now you're back to team green. So, very fun blasters. Uh, like I said, uh, with all the blasters that they've come out with that are extremely competitive with Nerf, these guys are definitely a company to uh, take notice of. Uh, we've enjoyed their blasters for quite a while. I ran an all Dart Zone loadout at the Minnesota uh, World Record attempt here last uh, fall, and that was a lot of fun. Um, world Record did not happen. We did not make the new World Record. Uh, they set a pretty high bar down there in Texas. but. It was a lot of fun to go and see a lot of nerfers. So, uh, they're also, their, uh, their version of the Rival Ball is very exciting with the uh, pattern they put on it, which I like a lot more than the Rival Golf Ball type uh, pattern. So, yep, if you're interested in the market for this type of blaster, check them out. They're definitely a cheaper option than Nerf, and it gives you a little different design and aesthetic. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and have fun nerfing.